What is going on YouTube? It's your boy Spanko and actually today we're at Untouch and uh, the reason we're here is because the Jack Atlas Structure Decks just came out. I wanted to show you guys how to use three Structure Decks to build an entire deck that you guys can actually take to locals and be competitive with. Only three Structure Decks. But first, I really want to open this up and see what's actually inside. I know all the new cards, but I don't know everything that's in here. So let's get right into the opening first, okay? So first thing I want to say is I noticed that these uh, Structure Decks are a lot uh, smaller than your typical Structure Decks. They're usually a lot bigger and there's a lot more plastic. This looks like it's a lot more compact, which is kind of nice. Konami looks like they're taking care of the environment. Okay, so there's not much in here. Here's the deck. Let's get through it for you guys real quick. Oh, also, I'm gonna be showing you guys a one card combo at the end of this video as well. So make sure you guys stay tuned until the end because I'm not only gonna be showing you guys the deck, but I'm gonna be showing you guys how to actually play and combo with this deck. All right, so let's get into it. First thing we see here is a soul resonator. This card is absolutely insane. Definitely a three of in this deck. Vision Resonator as well. This card is absolutely insane. You guys got to be playing these. These two cards alone make the deck so crazy. And this is actually just your one card combo right here. So that's why these two are really important. Then you have an RDA reprint, a Red Rising Dragon reprint. Uh, this is really cool. This is the first ever human card. It's literally a human, which is kind of cool. I think it's actually a really nice token, right? Then you got a lot of the really cool reprints. So Dragon, Supernova, you got Calamity, and the brand new Scarred Red. Scarred Red is really important in a lot of the combos as well. So this card is absolutely insane. Bone Archfiend is really good and then you have a lot of resonator reprints here and then like i'm just gonna go through them one by one a lot of these cards are not super important this card is absolutely insane in the deck though but uh yeah a lot of these cards here um i guess are pretty cool reprints backjack's a cool one this is a really cool one if you guys want to see an assault mode build for the deck let me know i can do an assault mode build as well this build is not gonna be assault mode though but you guys get the whole assault mode package here which is really nice these two are really cool i like the nessie and the chupacabra actually these are pretty cool i don't think we're gonna be using them in today's video but um these cards are pretty nice reprints wish of the black forest absolute power force is an absolutely powerful card going second that's really funny i didn't even mean to say that like that <laughs> but it actually is really really powerful so this card for going second helps you otk this card is absolutely insane crimson gaia so during your main phase you can add any card that you that says red dragon archfiend in the card text which is really really powerful and then a lot of your resonator cards of course resonator call very important uh burning soul this card if it was searchable let me just tell you guys right now if Burning Soul was searchable, this deck would actually probably be one of the best decks in the format. The fact that this card can just make King Calamity out of nowhere is insane, but unfortunately it's not searchable, but the card's, the card's really, really good. This is actually, I think, what the best reprint is in this whole structure deck, uh, Pot of Extravagance. Really, really good reprint, and here, of course, common Pot of Extravagance. This card is pretty cool as well. Searches you Fiendish Chain, which is insane. Red Zone is an absolutely powerful card. And then, um, yeah, just more reprints here. Fiendish Chain is really cool. Uh, Salt Mode Activate. And then you got some commons in your Red Dragon Archfiend. You got your Hot Red. You got your, um, what is this one, Bane. And then you got your Red Nova Dragon. So a lot of really cool reprints in this, but I'm really excited to show you guys the deck. So let's get right into it. Okay, so I got everything sleeved up, ready to go. Let's get right into it. I don't want to take up too much of you guys' time. So first things first is three Soul Resonator. Soul Resonator is one of the most important, if not the most important card in your deck. If it's normal or special summon, you can add a level four or lower fiend type monster from your deck to your hand. And that's really important because it's going to add one of your more important extenders in your deck, right? Playing three of the Vision Resonator. Vision Resonator is also very powerful as well. So first of all, it lets you special summon itself out if you control a level five or higher dark dragon monster, or I think it's just dark monster in general. So it's still really powerful powerful in that sense and then if it's sent to the graveyard you can add a spell or trap that mentions red dragon archfiend in uh, in the name or in the text i should say and that's really really important because it's going to get to some of your extenders and some of your searches as well so three vision resonator then i like to play the three standard i think red resonator it's one of the most powerful ones because if you are opening up a normal summon and you have something like red resonator plus soul resonator keep in mind soul resonator works on a special summon as well so at least it gets that extra extender that extra body on the board that can help you push through a lot of boards so i will say this with this deck because of what's provided in the structure deck i think it's actually best to play this deck as a going second deck at least the way that i'm building it right now there's definitely a lot of traps so you could play a going first build but we'll get into that when we're talking about the side deck but in this build i think it's actually better to go second and so for that reason you just want to be playing as many cards as possible to extend and push your plays through a lot of boards same thing with three crimson resonator crimson resonator is another extender for you and then it has another effect is if you control specifically just one dark dragon monster you can summon two resonator monsters from your deck and that's important because that's that's huge that's getting three bodies on the board right which is insane and then one of the most important cards here as well is 
Synchron Resonator. So Synchron Resonator is another one that special summons itself. And it's a level one that's really important because it helps you get into a lot of your synchro plays. So that's it for the Resonator monsters. But for the one of the main and most important monsters and one of the new monsters, which I'm surprised it didn't come as a super rare, to be honest with you. We're playing three bone Archfiend. So this card is an extender for you. So if it's in your hand or your graveyard, you can send um, another card from your hand or field to the graveyard to special summon it. So you can send a card from your field as well. But in the combo I'm gonna show you guys, I'm just gonna be showing you guys like the most basic combo um but is an extender right and an extender level four that can modulate his level is really really important a lot of the time you're going to want to make him level three because this is how you get into red rising dragon but you can also technically make him level five as well so that's really powerful and then again like i said we just want to play extenders and we just want to be able to push for a lot like not push for a lot of damage we're going to be pushing for a lot of damage but we're going to be trying to break through a lot of boards and because you don't have board breakers in this deck you really just need to have extenders right and you have to be able to play through negation play through disruption and this is another one of those extenders for you so I really like this package. Another extender for you, three of the Wandering King Wildwind. This card is really cool. And it's also recursion for you. And then a card that I chose to play was two Red Ward. So Red Ward is actually really nice because when you normal summon a Resonator monster, he chain blocks for you. So essentially, if I go like, let's say I normal summon a Red Resonator, activate effect. So this is going to be chain link one. You can go chain link two Red Ward. So this way that this is going to resolve, summon this onto the field. This is going to resolve, summon your Resonator. And then you have like bodies on the board. You can start making your synchro plays and whatnot. So I just like three Red Redborg as another extender for you and that's it for the monsters it is pretty monster heavy but the thing with the monsters here is they are all or most of them are just extenders and just put more bodies on the board which is the main focus of the deck then we're playing the brand new three crimson gaia this card is absolutely insane so it's a continuous spell you can uh, during your main phase add a card that add, that says red dragon archfiend in its text and that's really really important that's the main use of this card because it's going to get you to one of the most broken trap cards in the deck so that's why you're playing this for consistency we are playing three of the resonator call resonator call of course not once per turn rota adds any resonator monster from your deck to your hand of course very very powerful three extravagance we are going with the extravagance build in this one again just because you want as many cards as possible to be able to push through and break a lot of boards and then lastly because we want to go second and be able to otk absolute power force is absolutely crazy it's it's really powerful it gives your monsters a boost one of the effects is that it does piercing damage and that works really well because the crimson gaia here lets you essentially change all monsters your opponent controls to face down defense position so giving your monsters piercing is absolutely insane i also forgot to mention the absolute power force has red dragon archfiend in the text which means if you're going second you guys will see this in the combo but if you're going second you can actually search this and it helps you otk so this card is really really powerful and that's why we're only playing the one and then for the trap cards we're only playing three traps even though you still want to go second red zone is one of the most broken traps you guys can play when you're forced to go first this card's crazy it also has red dragon archfiend in the text which means it is searchable and then i like playing the one fiendish golem because if you open the red zone this is another card that you can search because it does mention red dragon archfiend in the text as well and then this card is a disruption for you and it gets to set the fiendish chain the only problem with this card is it doesn't let you activate the fiendish chain the same turn it's set which kind of sucks but it does let you search the fiendish chain which is really really good so that's it for the deck it's a 40 card main deck i don't think i change this up at all i think for the combo build that i'm showing you guys today it's it's just the perfect main deck for the extra deck because we are playing uh extrav and you have access to a lot of the synchros with this which is really really nice and uh the structure that gives you all the synchros that you need right but because we're playing extrav we're going to want to max out on a lot of them so three red rising dragon really really powerful card one of your main combo starters and then we're playing uh three of the scarred dragon archfiend this card is also really important because it gets another level eight body onto your side of the field and it counts as red dragon archfiend on the field and in the graveyard which is really really important for you playing two of the red dragon archfiend two bane we're playing two of the abyss two scarlight and then one calamity that that's all you need really again because a lot of this extra deck is is extra fodder the main cards that you're going to want to need or you're going to need are your scarred red and your red rising and then you're always going to be ending on abyss you're going to be ending on bane trying to just go for game and, and win a lot of games that way right so extravagance is always going to help you do that and then lastly i built together a little small side deck for you guys so again remember how i mentioned that the way i'm building my deck is a combo deck to otk and do a lot of damage you can actually play this deck as a trap deck just because they give you cards like absolute king backjack but on top of that a lot of the red dragon archfiend traps are absolutely busted one of them being red rain this essentially banishes everything your opponent controls or all monsters your opponent controls if you control a level eight or higher synchro monster so it's absolutely crazy this disruption is really really nuts and again because you want to go first you're playing the two fiendish golem and the two fiendish chain because you're playing one and one in the main deck already so a lot of what you want to do if you're siding with this deck is you're going to take out a lot of the extra extenders and then try to side a lot of these traps in right so extra ex extenders as in like your red warg you guys can side out cards like your dog 
Dawn Walker here as well, which is really nice. So there's a lot of cards that you can definitely side out. The only cards I wouldn't side out are the Crimson cards, like the Resonators, I mean. But there's a lot of cards in here that you guys can definitely side. And then the traps also work really well with Extrap, right? Because Extrap getting you more traps is always going to be good. We're playing one more Red Zone. Uh, Red Zone is really, really powerful. But the really nice thing about playing the second one is if you do open it, then you get the chance to search, you know, a Fiendish Column for a different, you know, target, right? Which is really nice. We're playing one Terrors. To be honest, Terrors was just the 15th card I put in. So that's why we're just playing the one. But the most important card is Three Burning Soul. This card gives you access to one of the most busted cards in the game of Yu-Gi-Oh! right now. And that is King Calamity. Unfortunately, it's not searchable. It does have that thing where it says, if you control a level eight or higher Synchro Monster, if it said Red Dragon Archfiend, this card would absolutely be insane. Unfortunately, it doesn't. So you have to be playing three. And going first, being able to set this up is absolutely insane, right? So that's the side deck. Again, the side deck is, uh, is one of those things where because I'm just choosing to play an OTK build, the side deck is going to be a lot trap focused. But there is a build, a main build, where you can play traps and then you play a lot of the combo stuff in the side deck if you're using just three structure decks. So with that being said, I really want to get into the combo. So let's get right into it. Guys, all you need is literally a soul resonator and the other four cards in your hand could be here like i'm just gonna use you know these and then the you know red ward let's say okay um red ward is actually pretty good here let's not use red ward let's use something that's like useless okay so here's your fire hand okay so this is your hand okay you don't care about any of these cards all you care about is your soul resonator so let's put the hand here what you're going to do is you're going to start off by summoning your soul resonator once soul resonator is summoned you're going to activate its effect which is going to let you search a uh, fiend from your deck to your hand so the card you're going to want to search is bone arch fiend now at this point bone arch fiend has a really cool effect where you can pitch a card to special summon him and then once he's special summoned essentially what you can do is you can dump another monster from your deck to your graveyard and then modulate his level and the card that you're going to want to send off of your bone arch fiend is your crimson resonator so now this is level three because you're going to modulate his level to a level three keep in mind you're still going to have three cards here in hand okay so now that he's level three you're going to use both of these cards synchro summon both of these cards to summon your red rising dragon again one of the most important combo cards in the deck right so red rising dragon over here you're going to summon it and then you're going to activate its effect to summon a crimson resonator from your uh from your graveyard i mean back to your side of the field and because you control one dark synchro dragon you can activate the crimson dragon effect or crimson resonator effect i should say to summon two resonators from your deck okay so the ones you're going to want to summon are your synchron resonator as well as your vision resonator okay so at this point you have four cards on your side of the field so at this point you have these monsters on your side of the field so what you're going to do is you're going to use the vision as well as the red rising so it's a two and a six you're going to synchro summon these away to summon your scarred red dragon okay so now what you're going to do is because vision was sent to the graveyard it activates this effect where you can search a card that mentions red dragon archfiend is it in and in this case you're going to want to actually search your uh crimson gaia and um, this is going to be in your hand we can use this later it doesn't really matter if you activate it now or not it doesn't that doesn't really change much so at this point you have a level eight monster on your side of the field and a level one tuner so what you're going to do is you're going to use these two monsters to synchro summon into your abyss Okay, you're gonna activate some chain links here. So, Scarred Red, when it's sent to the graveyard, lets you summon a Red Dragon Archfiend from your extra deck. And then Resonator, Synchron Resonator over here, lets you add a Resonator monster from your graveyard back to your hand, right? So, you're gonna go chain link one Scarred Red, chain link two uh, Synchron Resonator. The reason you wanna do it this way is because they actually can't negate the Scarred Red because of you chain blocked it. So, it's really, really important that way. So, this is gonna add back your Vision Resonator. And then uh, your Scarred Red is gonna be able to summon your Red Dragon Archfiend. Again, if you're going second here, like you're trying to push for a lot of damage but if you're going first this is also still really really powerful right because you're still ending on some negates and some disruption right hey guys editing spanko here i just wanted to make quick note of something because you use your scarred red dragon uh, as your synchro material for your abyss and everything is resolving then it's actually going to attempt to destroy all attack position monsters your opponent controls so if you are going second with this board right or with this hand and you're trying to make a board like this this is actually going to try to break your opponent's board which is really important because it does help you otk right and that's why we also want to change chain link this properly because they can't just negate the scarred red so that's really really important and then on top of that red dragon archfiend also has another effect where at the end phase they'll destroy all cards you control you guys are going to see we're not going to end on this in the combo but if for some reason you have to end on this in the combo let's say you get stopped then you can use your soul resonator that's in the graveyard and it'll protect your monsters but i just wanted to give you guys that heads up because it's really important to know because this is how you can win a lot of games so now because you control a level five or higher dark monster you can summon your vision resonator and now it's summoned to your side of the field now what you can do is you can use your vision resonator and your red dragon archfiend synchro some of these away into 
your Bane. So again, if you're going second, you're putting up a bunch of bodies, you're putting up a bunch of damage, and Bane is going to have a really cool effect where I can tribute a monster I control to summon back a Red Dragon Archfiend monster from my graveyard. So I'm going to tribute the Crimson Dra uh, Resonator here to summon back your Scarred Red. So at this point, if you guys are looking at the board as, as an OTK board, you have way over 9,000 damage. I think this is closer to 10,000 damage right here on the board. But let's say you're going first, right? So what you're going to want to do is you're going to activate your Crimson Gaia. And Crimson Gaia has the effect where during your main phase, you can add a Red Dragon Archfiend or a card that mentions Red Dragon Archfiend in it. So at this point, you can add your Red Zone. You can also add your Fiendish Golem. So it really depends, right? So if you open Fiendish Golem, you can search Red Zone. If you open Red Zone, you can search Fiendish Golem. Doesn't really matter. But in this case, I like to go, let's say you don't have either, you can go Red Zone. So at this point, you can just set the red zone. Okay, so you're ending on this board with a red zone disruption. You have your abyss disruption and you still have three cards in your hand. So all of this is off a single card. That's that's pretty insane, no? Like that's just a single soul resonator. And that's what I'm saying. So it, even if your single soul resonator gets disrupted here, this is where having those extra extenders and whatnot plays a factor and, and can continue helping you make your plays. But if, just look at this board, look at this board. Negate, disruption, OTK stuff. It's, it's so good, it's so good. And uh, yeah, that's that's the craziest part. It's all off one card. So if you guys enjoyed this video, make sure to like the video and subscribe to the channel for more Yu-Gi-Oh content just like this one. Shout out to Untouchables again for letting us film here. Uh, literally, Turn Zero Structure Deck release. This is literally Turn Zero. It just came out. So yeah, thank you guys all for watching. Thank you, Alpha, for being my cameraman. Um, and with that, it's Banco. Peace.